Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. It's a new week in March. Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts, playbooksports.com. You can find all of my work and predictions uh, and buy all of my picks at pb.buzz slash tm. We're going to talk college basketball and this weekend's goings on, which uh, was uh, a very eventful weekend in college basketball as some schools ended their regular season schedules. Others will do so this weekend, and conference tournaments begin on Monday night in the Atlantic Sun. They'll get uh, going in, in full swing later this week. There's uh, some tourneys going on on Tuesday. We've got the weekend featuring a bunch of conference tournaments, and the big boys get going next week. So we'll actually have a free pick on one of the Atlantic Sun first-round games. And uh, that'll be at the end of the video. But let's talk about what we saw this weekend, uh, where there were just a bunch of games that had a ton of meaning. Uh, let's start in the Atlantic 10, where Richmond defeated VCU behind another big night from Jordan King. The Spiders are looking real good to uh, win the Atlantic 10 regular season title. We'll see if that'll catapult them to an at-large bid. They certainly have work to do, and it, uh, it does look like the A-10 may be a one- or two-bid league. Uh, the Mountain West, which is the A-10's a distant cousin, uh, looks like a four- or five-bid league, conversely. And Utah State uh, continued their ascent. They're looking good for uh, Mountain West regular season title, but they've got, room, uh, they've got company at the top in Boise State, which uh, defeated – New Mexico, the Lobos going in the wrong direction right now in terms of the bubble, but uh, Boise has uh, evened up Utah State. They were uh, swept during the regular season, so uh, the, so long as the Aggies take care of business the rest of the way, uh, Boise will finish as the number two seed if they went out. But um, you know, bo both of those teams are looking really good to make the NCAA tournament. In the ACC, North Carolina beat NC State, won that rivalry game. Uh, on Monday night, it'll be Duke taking on the Wolfpack, and the collision course is set for North Carolina at Duke in Durham for the weekend, see if uh, the Tar Heels can win and uh, sweep that season series and claim the ACC regular season title. The Big 12 was interesting in that Houston needed a uh, sheet uh, uh, buzzer beater to get past Oklahoma in Norman, uh, really a, a tough test for them. The Sooners taxed that defense. They had more points at the half than anybody's had against the Cougars, but Houston managed to survive. Uh, it seems like that uh, number one overall ranking has been an albatross for everybody. Houston, uh, despite all their trouble, will uh, be the number one team entering the week. Uh, in the Big Ten, Purdue outlasted Michigan State. They're looking great for a Big Ten title. They'll play Illinois on Tuesday in the biggest game of the week in that conference. Uh, in the Big East, it was UConn flexing some more muscle. They crushed Seton Hall. Again, in, in the Big East, it's looking like uh, the, the bubble will probably only have one team outside of uh, Marquette, Creighton, and uh, the UConn Huskies. Marquette, despite their injuries, hung around with the Blue Jays in Omaha. Uh, before ultimately the, the numbers game caught up with them and Marquette pulled uh, and uh, Creighton pulled away for a big win. But again, Tyler Kolick should be back. Igadora should be back. Uh, Marquette will be fine going, going uh, down the road. And the uh, AAC, USF, continued the nation's longest winning streak with an impressive win at Charlotte. So the Bulls will continue to be nationally ranked. Uh, their net rating is still not where it needs to be for a uh, at-large berth. So that conference tournament is going to be huge for them. Memphis turned around uh, what was like a 20-point deficit uh, and ended up winning by, and covering the spread uh, in uh, their senior day game against UAB. So uh, Memphis will be on the bubble uh, on the outside looking in at this point, but uh, they were good enough to win the AAC tournament title. And, uh, you know, you, ha you have to respect also what Florida Atlantic was able to do. Uh, they are – also one of the few teams uh, on the bubble out, out, you know, some people have them as the last four in, some people have them as uh, the last four out. So they're going to see what they, how they fare over the next couple of weeks or games to see if they can get back into the tournament as last season's Cinderella 
looks to become this season's uh, NCAA tournament lock, uh, which won't be the case unless they take care of business in the AAC tournament. In the Missouri Valley, it was Indiana State clinching a regular season title. Uh, they uh, finished ahead of Drake. So if the MVC does get two bids, the Sycamores are well positioned if they get to that final uh, to be that second team should they lose uh, and, and fall short in that automatic bid. One of the biggest games of the weekend was Tennessee, Alabama in Tuscaloosa. The Volunteers set up uh, to be the SEC regular season champion, a potential number one seed, winning on the road. Impressive uh, performance there, even with Dalton Connect not really playing great. Uh, their depth wore down Alabama. Alabama safely in the field. Uh, Mississippi State has work to do, so it'll be interesting to see how they fare. They play a bubble battle against Texas A&M. Certainly the Bulldogs are ahead of the Aggies at this point, but Buzz Williams' team does have a shot if they can win out and reach the SEC tournament title game. Uh, Ole Miss also squarely on the bubble, uh, even though the Gators lost at South Carolina, I think they're in. And then obviously the uh, SEC has five locks. The West Coast Conference had a huge game where Gonzaga goes into St. Mary's and picks up a win, uh, pretty much alleviating any concerns of them being left out of the field. Mark Few's team will be in impressive win over the Gales. Uh, St. Mary's still the regular season champion in the West Coast Conference, and hopefully we get one more of these St. Mary's Gonzaga battles uh, in the WCC final. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the free play for uh, Monday night. Again, conference tournament action in full swing now as we get going with the um, Atlantic Sun uh, and uh, EKU and Stetson are the top two seeds. So the nine and 10 and the seven and eight will square off. And we're gonna talk about the uh, Florida Gulf Coast, Queens uh, of North Carolina Royals matchup at the Edmond Center in the land. Winner uh, stays put uh, in, in, in the land and will play number two seed Stetson. Uh, Queens and FGCU played uh, in late February and it was the Eagles winning 90 to 81. Pat Chambers has them playing well at the right time. They've won three in a row, six out of the last 10. And uh, the team that Andy Enfield put on the map as Dunk City, I think moves on covering the spread. It's about three and a half, four. I like Florida Gulf Coast as your free play to get past Queens uh, University of North Carolina. So that's your A Sun free pick. Conference tourneys are here, everybody. Uh, again, you can see all my work at uh, pv.buzz slash TM. Buy packages, uh, have a big march with me. Uh, it's gonna be great and profitable to see what happens going forward in March Madness. I'm Tony Mejia for Playbook Experts, playbooksports.com, signing off. Remember, we're going to do recap videos every day this week, and we'll have free picks for you to digest. Have a great week, everybody.